In this problem, we have to find the Maclaurin series for this function. So to start this problem, we'll start by writing down the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So e to the x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. So the only thing we have to do in this problem is basically replace the x here with x to the 5 over 5 and then simplify, right? This equation holds for all x. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll do it below. So it's e to the x to the 5 over 5 is equal to, so we still have the infinite sum, and that runs from n equals 0 to infinity. And then just replace the x with x to the 5 over 5. So it'll be x to the 5 over 5. And the whole thing here is to the nth power. It's all being divided by n factorial. Let's go ahead and keep going. This is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And what you can do here is use properties of exponents. So basically, the n will get multiplied by the 5. So it'll be x to the 5n. And then you also raise this one to the nth power. So this is 5 to the n. And this is in parentheses. And it's all over n factorial. All right, so this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And what you can do now uh, is, again, use some basic algebra. So we're dividing by n factorial. That's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, so 1 over n factorial. So you have x to the 5n over 5 to the n times 1 over n factorial. And this would be considered a decent answer. It's you know simplified, so it's good enough. Uh, most people would write their final answer as follows. So this is the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And so this will be x to the 5n over, and then what you can do is you just multiply the n factorial and the 5 to the n. So this is n factorial times 5 to the n. And that would be the final answer. So this is the Maclaurin series for this function. So whenever you have to find the Maclaurin series for an exponential function, um, all you do is use this formula here and then just make a substitution. So there's no need to go through you know, the long formulas because we have that this is the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So we're allowed to use this uh, to find other Maclaurin series related uh, to e to the x. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.